Climatech Heating, Cooling, Refrigeration. Hey, this is Harry again from Climatech Service with another helpful tip on your Trinity TI boiler. This video can help you prevent misdiagnosing a common problem on your boiler. The first thing you will notice is that the boiler won't fire. The display on the sensory controller will indicate an ASC code. As a safety disclaimer, you'll be working with high electrical voltages. As with any electrical troubleshooting, observe all electrical safety rules. If you're uncertain about any of these rules, please call a certified professional to diagnose and complete the repair. Which part to replace if you have an ASC code on your Sentry controller that won't go away? Number one, turn off the power to the boiler. Number two, you're going to pull the main power off of the inducer motor. You're going to go back, turn on the power to the, the main power to the boiler. Make sure you have a call for heat or for hot water. You're going to reinsert the plug into the boiler, into the uh, inducer motor and you're going to wait about five seconds. The ASC code should go away on the controller and the boiler should light normally. So let's take a look and see how this works. When there's a call for heat or hot water, the sequence of operation on this boiler is as follows. The controller receives the call. It goes to a check of the safety and operating controls. The blower motor must be off when the call is received or when it's first initiated. If the blower motor is running, the air pressure switch goes to the closed position before it's supposed to. The sentry controller sees this and thinks the air pressure switch is stuck in the closed position. This prevents the boiler from going into the ignition phase. This is Harry from Climatech Service signing off. Hopefully this video will give you some insight on servicing an ASC code on your Trinity TI boiler. Climatech Heating, Cooling, Refrigeration.